Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Taxplain and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can easily make any microphone sound like a professional microphone. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to be doing is going over onto device manager and updating the microphone's drivers. An outdated microphone driver can cause some issues. So what you want to do is you want to click on audio input and outputs, expand it and select your microphone. Then right click on it and click update driver then click on search automatically for drivers and if it says the best drivers for your device are already installed what you can do is go ahead and manually search up your microphone on google and look for a better driver over there but i don't think that will be necessary if you have um, this window saying that you already have the best driver so you can close out of this and the next thing that we are going to be doing is going over into settings then click on system click on sound, go over onto microphone and click on sound control panel right over here. Then what you want to do is you want to head over onto recording and select your microphone, right click on it and click on properties. Then go over onto levels and make sure that this is on the highest possible level. Although I do recommend testing it for yourself and go ahead and put it on the maximum and listen to what it sounds like. Then if it sounds like it's too loud and it's like cracking and stuff just lower it a little bit until you have the sweet spot and then go over onto advanced and make sure that this is on the highest available hertz this will improve the quality but i've seen some people that had some problems with this when they put it on a maximum that they don't have any sound at all so i recommend testing it look if you still have audio and just put it on the highest possible hertz then click ok click ok and close out of this what you want to do then is go ahead and head over onto settings click on gaming and click on captures. Now what we'll be doing here, if you record your footage using this, um, this method, I really recommend putting this on the highest possible quality. What you want to do then is close out of this. And the next thing that we are going to be doing is using a software called voice meter. This is a software that allows you to make almost any microphone sound like an amazing microphone and I'll give you a quick guide into it but later on I'll post a video in a, in a more detailed guide on how to use this software. So it's called Voice Meter Banana. I have it right over here. This is what it looks like. Okay so the first time that you see the software you'll probably think like what the heck I don't know how any of this works but don't worry um, I'll just explain it quick. Uh, so in hardware input 1 you have to select your microphone and in hardware out click on A1 and select your um, headphones or speakers and then over here you'll be able to fine tune your microphone and give it like a bass type sound like this is what it normally sounds like like this. It's quite a big difference but when we put this a little bit to the left it already sounds much better but really really like much better even some headsets with a microphone can sound good with this so if you really want more on this i'll make a video on it later on i'll put it in the description when it's available so yeah let's get right into the next method okay so before we continue with this video and if you are new to my channel hi my name is Texplain, and on this channel you can find awesome windows tips and tricks and videos like how to fix almost any problem in windows so if you like that kind of content please consider subscribing to my channel and let's continue with the video Okay, so the next and final thing that you can do to improve your microphone is actually switching from uh, audio ports to USB. Since in my case, this really helped me out a lot. I'll actually give you an example of what it sounds like in the audio ports versus what it sounds like in the USB. You'll hear that the USB um, option sounds much better. So let me actually give you an example right now. So this is what it sounds like using the two audio ports and you can, you can clearly hear that it's much that the USB is much better so this is what it sounds like with the USB. Okay so now I am back using the USB port as you can hear it is much better than the audio ports. I really do recommend buying one of these adapters. I'm not sure if it will work, if it will work for everyone but it's it's not really that expensive so it's worth a try. So that was basically it for today's video. If you think this video was helpful go ahead and drop that like and subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.